Hey guys, so this was a new week. I ended up going to TK Maxx just to have a browse and I was also looking for frames to put around the house, like the corridor and the kitchen. Um, so yeah, that's why I ended up here. And these are just cutaways of nice storage things that I saw. I wasn't gonna buy it because I don't need them at the moment, but I thought you guys might. Um, yeah, I came across this frame. Um, it was nice, but I don't really want like a black outline. So I decided to leave that and then it was time for me to go into the range so it was literally a road across from tk maxx so here i am just walking enjoying the sunshine and yeah when i got in there i was just so overwhelmed like the range has so many things guys but anyways i found these two frames i really liked it i like the wooden type of theme um, so hence why this frame in particular like drew my attention and I was thinking I might just put it in the corridor in the main entrance because it's big but not too big it's just the right size so here I am just showing you guys and I also came across a smaller version and um, which you guys will see um, in the next shot I thought that would be perfect just to go in the kitchen because I had um, this what is the name again I had this um, poster that I bought online and um, which I thought would look really great um, with this small frame so yeah I ended up getting these two and I was so silly guys here's me like trying to walk away and literally forgetting about my phone like sis how do you plan on getting home how do you plan on getting home <laughs> thank you <laughs> anyways um i saw this um sign as well i really wanted to buy it but i have enough in the house so i just thought i'll leave it for now anyways got back home um i printed these two um posters i guess you would say um i bought these from um etsy I will try and link it down below if I can find it. I got one for the kitchen, which is of the fruit of the spirit. It's always good to be reminded, you know, the type of fruits that we should be carrying in our daily lives. <clears throat> Sorry, guys, my voice is going. And um, so, yeah, hence why I really like this one for the kitchen. And what I did was I didn't really have like the right trimmer um, for this. So I just did it freehand. And thankfully, it came out fine anyway. Um, but I would definitely suggest you get a ruler, draw, draw maybe like the right line with a pencil and then cut it that way if you're scared. Um, but me, I was like, you know what? It is what it is. And it came out just fine so yeah after that i just ended up obviously just removing the fake um image that was on there and then just replacing it with the image that i wanted and this is what it looks like oh i love it i love it so much guys i really really do let me know guys what you think of this um i really really like this one i really really do and then the huge one oh my gosh i was using like a cardboard to open this because oh, how do you guys open this part of the frame how it's so hard but anyways um i got like another um, I don't know what the name, the correct name is, guys. I really don't know. Um, it's just kind of like a border that I got also from the range. And then I put the image as well because I wanted that kind of look. And you guys can see this is what it looks like. And that one says, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord from the book of Joshua. I really like that as well. That one went um, in my main entrance in the corridor. And then here I am just adding the smaller one to the kitchen. And guys, as I've said before, I do not have an interest in life. So I, I was literally just doing the dishes and watching one of my favorite Christian um, YouTubers, Maya. Um, while she was cleaning, I was also cleaning. Um, I usually call my sisters um, when I'm cleaning or cooking, but they were busy. So I just tuned on to um, YouTube. Yeah, guys. And um, Another thing that I actually wanted to touch upon you guys, these are just food for thoughts. These are just thoughts that are always in my mind. And guys, you know, like as a child of God, for me anyway, like my main goal is to always be the best version of myself, like each and every day. And as I read the word, I'm always trying to see where it is that I need to improve. 
and you know one thing that just came in my mind um recently it was that it's amazing you know how god can bless us you know every single chapter of our lives but one thing that i will always say is don't get too sucked in into the good thing that the good thing becomes um an idol um it's very important that god always comes first place i know life gets busy i know maybe you might be unwell maybe you're going through a challenging season and it's hard for you to read the word but girl just pick up the word and read it yeah it really just reminded me of the book of matthew where it says it's matthew 15 chapter 8 verse 9 it says these people honor me with their lips but their hearts are far away from me they worship me in vain their teachings are merrily human rules so yeah i just thought i'd share that and guys this was a short vlog but i really hope you guys enjoyed it and i guess i will see you guys into the next video bye